Hey guys, and welcome to the BCD5. Today I'll be doing a pop of all without spending any bucks or any agents. Before I start, I would like to point out that I am using the Boomerang Dojo. Uh, I would have got to max it out, it costs something like three and a half grand. But these are the abilities so reduce the tower and upgrade cost by 5%. Not really great. Increase attack, increase attack speed by 10%. Okay, I guess. Boomerangs fly once more, circuit if able. If you want to really make that, you've got to get the multi-target one. It's the first one on the top. It's really hard, not really hard to mess, but it throws two boomerangs at once. That's the only reason why I got this one. Because I think that, mixed with that, makes it overpowered. The only weakness is it can't see camera, so that's why I placed down a monkey village. Um, I have got a lot of stuff. I've even got mastery mode on here, but... um. The only thing I've been able to do so far is three times around. I think to carry on, I will have to get um, double cash mode, spend a tenner. See, and these ones, for impossible, it's not that. You actually start off with 600, so if I go, these are the original prices that you win. But once you complete it and got the medal for it, then it goes down, yeah. It is kind of hard. In mastery mode, all balloons are leveled up. So, blue, uh, red balloons become blue balloons. Blue balloons become green. Green become yellow. Yellow become pink. Pink only become black. Black or white becomes a zebra. Um, zebra become rainbow. Rainbow become ceramics. Ceramics become mobs. Mobs become BFBs and B um, BFBs become ZOMGs. And what I find really weird about this is that the ZOMGs stay ZOMGs. I was expecting it to be like a DDT from BC Monkey City, but no, clearly there hasn't been in there yet. But yeah, this, uh, if I show you quick, I have got all the medals in the beginner. That's how I've got the beginner mastery. If I, if I want to unlock all of the intermediate tracks in mastery mode, what I'll have to do is I'll get all the medals in all these maps. It's a long way to go, and frankly, it's just finding time to do it, I think. Um, so we're going to do it in pop yeah, I'm not going to do fast track. I wouldn't advise doing fast track because when you fast track, it only gets you 5,000. But if you went there real time, if you went there from round 1 to round 25, you get something like 15 grand. So you're losing a third of your money in that bit. So I would strongly advise not doing that. I'm going to start replacing a boomerang monkey here. I'm going to play, get multi-target. Always the first thing I do. And then I'm going to get Gyver Thrower after this round or the next round. Yeah, next round. As you can see here, there are two boomerang... The boomerang thrower is firing two boomerangs at once. Now two Gyavs. If you're using this method, I would strongly advise that you're not getting Gyav Rocket I would strongly advise in getting the Bionic Boomer. This makes it, it makes it fire like four times as fast. Of course, because I throw it too, it's like eight boomerangs a second. I wouldn't get the ability. I just wouldn't. I never do. I find I just get a load of Bionic Boomers. To get the ability, you could get another um, another boomerang monkey with a Bionic Boomer for instead of an upgrade. That's what I find is wrong with it. Uh, the monkey version on this is 1920. What I would do is that I would have the dark monkey hall and it'd be maxed out specialty building for it. And it makes it so that um, I think the fourth one is that all darts are explosive, so they now can pop leads. And obviously, they're really cheap to make uh, put, place down on upgrade. So I placed down a load of them, but I was also placed down banana, banana farms here. And then what I would do is that I would place down um, banana farmers that's what I would do banana farmers are alright they're not bad I've got the pro for it makes it throw um, when it collects bananas it throws banana skins on the on the track pops says blooms back to the beginning I think it pops them as well but I don't know I haven't used it since um, I'm gonna get Bionic Boomer now, actually. Just see here, no balloon is getting past there anytime soon. Literally just there, no balloon.
Yeah, just so you know why the why it is going forward. I've got that like that. If you do that at the end of a round, you have to press the button again so it goes forward. But I frankly just can't be if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm not gonna buy on a boomer. I now need to save up for a monkey village. It might take a couple of rounds. There are specialty buildings which I have got. Um, so for instance, the super monkey one. I've got the first two tiers. I'm saving up to get the third tier, which makes it so that super eyes can see camo, which means I can see camo now. So I don't need any monkey villages. Monkey village. Okay, camo balloon, obviously. So you have to place down road spikes for that bit. You can place down a ninja, but I think it's just easy to place down road spikes. And then you'll definitely get um, radar scanner for the monkey village, which makes it so that all towers in its radius can see camo. So I may still the boomerang there, and all the rest of the boomerang, which I am going to place down to see camo, which is not bad. It's much better than a meerkat spy. I haven't used meerkat spies, if I'm honest. I haven't used many special agents. Let's I may because I've got the red hot rings. I still need another 1,400, well, 1,100 to get the radar scanner. The monkey beacon increases towers in its radius's attack range by 15%. I think you need to get that one if you want to get jungle drums, which increases all towers in radius to attack 15% faster. Oh, radar scanner. And then after that, Oh, just in time actually. The camera was just coming in just to the board that. And after that you've got the monkey town which gives it 50% more cash per pop. But frankly the 50% more cash per pop is actually worthless. It doesn't work in this. If you get double cash per then it does. But however if you don't then I wouldn't get the monkey town unless you're just willing to spend money for no reason. Um. I think it's about time to place another couple of boomerangs as this one starts starts to get overwhelmed. So I'm placing down another three. So we have four boomerang throwers now, and obviously I'll grade them. Oh my guy, I have this way for this way to get the money for a bionic boomer. there but on a boomer that's two now so we should be good for a while a mastery mode obviously the pink balloons but normally they'd be black or all white misers in a mastery mode when you get ceramics so like if you get around like around 63 they send in the corruption of ceramics this in there four different groups, but they end up being mobs. And mobs say twice as many hits as ceramics. So you can see why I switched from Dark Monkey to this, because I think this is more much more powerful than a load of Dark Monkeys. Yeah, but the thing is, if because they're in mastery mode they make like ceramics mobs, and obviously that's four times the amount of ceramics per than what you're meant to get, obviously. Then your device will become super laggy after a while. Cause like I said, once they stop sending in ceramics, it's all just going to be BFBs and ZMGs in mastery mode. So yeah, I would advise not playing so far. I've got once up to like round 210. But that was after a month of playing. It would take me 10 minutes just to finish a round, and it was. I just went to sod it and just played an Odyssey or something. Because it drained like 70% of my bat of my tablet battery in one round in 10 minutes because it was that laggy. I, my, I mean, the blooms didn't even get past this first bit of wall, they would end at the first lake area before they all get destroyed. That was with nothing but boomerang monkeys.
You should have said nothing but boomerang monkeys and a monkey fish in the middle. I think it's more powerful than the sun god. Jungle drums, they now attack 15% faster. Okay, they're sending in Cyrus now. Still got one life, no plumes have got past yet. It's very good. Another bionic boomer, shall we? Right, yeah, yeah, throw her. If I'm honest, I don't see the point of Kaya Thrower. I mean, there's, apparently they're sharper. I don't know what that means, like... I don't know what that does to help popping balloons. I mean, we may as well be able to pop balloons. So... And it says I throw them faster, however, I don't think so. Unless I throw them, like, half, half a second faster. No, like, two milliseconds faster. Then fair enough, but it's not really a noticeable difference. I get it just because. That's when you get a load of um, guy abs just flying around just like that. You can't say that doesn't look cool. This is round 50. This is where we'd be ending if we were on easy. I would like to point out on easy that the dark monkeys would cost 190 instead of 250. On a purple mode, everything costs more. And if you're playing on Poppable without these pushing building, can I just say that the boomerang throwers wouldn't cost four four hundred fifty five bucks uh, monkey cash? Because um, I've got in the pushing building reduces tower and upgrade cost by five percent. So this would be something like four seventy, I think it would be. I don't know. I haven't played played it without the pushing building for a long time, a couple of months at least. I have played this game a lot, it's just that normally I complete the same levels over and over again, I mean just for fun. Or when I'm bored. Oh, another mob. What I can get in this though is... It's called Room's Tower Defense, and they've got to try and stop the blues from getting to the exit. But I don't see why... Why are balloons such a threat? Why, because they might fly away or something, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. They're killing balloons because they're apparently a threat, but balloons are really not. Okay, come on, just a mob. Got on it, Boomer. Source of cash, especially when you're low. When you get further on, because they're sending in mobs, which obviously take more hits than ceramics. The BFBs hold four mobs, and ZMGs hold four BFBs. Obviously, you get less money as you go along, which is kind of annoying. But if you have double cash mode, you can just go, 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 go. But you can run out of room, so like you can only play a certain amount of boomerang monkeys because you only have a certain amount of room throughout the entire screen area. It's like the whole thing. It just. Even if you get it completely covered out with, let's say, uh, technological terrors, then you're still not going to be able to play this anymore and you're eventually going to get overwhelmed. There have been people who say they've got to like round 9,000, but they haven't. They really haven't. They've used a hack, which lets them pass on to whatever round, and whatever round of money they have. So if I went from right here to around 200, I would, I would start around 200. But I would have something like, like you know, a million cash. It is actually possible to get a million, by the way. BFBs. Four uh, mobs, like I said. So basically a BFB is 16 ceramics in them. Apparently BFB stands for Big Friendly Balloon. I'm not quite sure why it's called Big Friendly Balloon, but um, I don't really want to question it, if I'm honest. The kids game is not meant to make sense. Uh, 
and the boomerang thrower, so I'm boom, red hot rain, zingaya thrower. This is around 63. This is where they're sending the crypt on ceramics, and in March, they're sending a crypt on a robe. So basically, you get four times the amount of ceramics as you're meant to be. Yeah. It's annoying as hell. So, yeah, I don't know why my voice is so deep today. It just kind of weird. Yeah, if you're looking for stuff like Cursed Clans, I do play them. I have one account on my tablet, which is what I'm playing in BCD5 on, and I have one on my phone. The one on my phone that I started like a month ago, and I think I'm only Town Hall 5. But the one on my tablet, I'm Town Hall 8, but I've only been playing for like four months. No, not four months, definitely not. Seven months? Eight months, I guess. So I will be introducing more videos on that. Okay, so we've got all the upgrades for the Monkey Village so far. This is around 65, this is where you will be ending on medium mode. Four thousand cash. Barnet Boomer. Let's see. So I'll see if I can get another one. I don't think I can get Barnet Boomer for this. I know it once it's most destroyed I can, definitely. Oh. I was mistaken. Okay. Um I think from here we just keep playing, just let it go, I guess. At some point it's like this, I'll just go downstairs and watch Netflix or something, so I'll leave this playing and then if I die I will just press the button at the bottom of the screen that shows the tabs. Remove the PC5 tabs, go into your all games and apps, open it again, and then just press resume game and you'll and and you'll be at the same round that you died at. Not after it, I mean you still have to play the same round that you died at. But if you just leave it and then come back to where at that point, you should have a load of money. Because from all the balloons, your monkeys have popped before you died. It's a good way to get money. And 69. Basically, a crap ton of leads and ceramics. Nothing special. I can place down another... In the zone. I think what I should do is make it so that the balloons come in faster, I guess. And at the same time, make the dumb monkeys attack faster and increase their range a bit. Just to speed up, just to speed up, speed up a bit. There's my voice there. Uh, another one. Okay. These are camo rainbow rainbows. On so we've got fifteen more rounds to go. On round eighty five you'll be surprised for improbable. It's different from hard, but only on that one level on round eighty five. Okay, more mobs. You can imagine this in mastery mode, instead of sending your swimmers, they'll be sending in robes, and right now, right now the mobs will be ZRMGs. I think it's round 76, we're sending a crap ton of camo regrow ceramics, but they're really, really tightly spaced together. And that, yeah, those are mobs. But the good news is they lose their camo thing, which I guess doesn't make us worry. But also they lose their regrow thing, because they came from mobs. It would be good though if they made a mob that was like Hammer and Regrow, but the mob itself, like the ZMG, BFB, and MO mob, 
didn't regen his health or the camo, but the same went both. That's what I think they should put in the game. I put it in the comment section. Um, I really hope they do it because apparently they make they're coming out with a BTD six. So There's going to be new agents and new type of monkeys and stuff. Apparently they're going to add in the special agent a monkey from BTD battles, which I wouldn't actually mind playing as. I play BTD battles all the time, and I think that is one of the good agents. 80, 80 good after each round. Many much better helps. But also, I think it's just because it's got guns, so I think I like it. Go around 74. 60 more rounds to go. Oh, 16. 10 more rounds to go. You know what, I'm bored, so I'm going to sell this. I'm going to play some Super Monkey here, just because I'm bored. And... If I sell that one there, I can then get... I can soon get Laser Blast for this, which makes it attack twice as fast. Yeah. So, fast running twin lasers being popped twice as much as before. And Super Monkey with Super Range was good. The one after that, after Super Range, is Epic Range. It's just like, why settle for Super when you can have Epic? My thoughts exactly, to be honest. I mean, Super Monkey though. It's good, but you can't see camo, and you, you can only pop LEDs when you get Plasma Blast. This is 76 with the Requo Ceramics, which would normally be mode in Mastery Mode. Obviously, look, because they're regen and Zembers and stuff. These blue brooms at the back. Went to green, went to yellow, went to pink, and then started getting shot down again. So, super. And then we went. Why is it up for super when you're going to have epic? Right after this one. Uh, Robo Monkey's good, however. I would say get Sun God, because Sun God fires three beams, but it also goes for a lot more blooms. Robo Monkey, if you don't have Laser Blast or Plasma Blast, but you have Robo Monkey, then it will shoot two, it will shoot darts twice as much as before, and then once you get lasers, it will shoot lasers and plasma, you shoot plasma. But Sun God, I think it's just better. I mean, it shoots three rays, which go through crap ton of balloons. So that ain't bad. Okay, let's see now. Six thousand. We've got seven more games. Seven more. Seven more rounds. That's the waiting game now, I guess. If you want to get a temple. However, all the towers, all the towers is range, and sometimes just outside the range will get absorbed into the Temple of the Monkey God. So if you have like nothing but boomerang throws, and I go that to the Temple of the Monkey God now, I will sell all the towers like here, like all of these guys, and then then I'll make that Temple of the Monkey God. I've had it in um, sandbox mode where you I've uh, got Temple of the Monkey God. I put one of each type of tower. So, like, if you put a submarine by it, then it uh, makes it shoot like a uh, ballistic missile, like um, the submarine upgrade. Nice tower, it makes it shoot a nice blast thing. Uh, glue, glue gun there, places it shoots glue. Dark monkey, don't think it does anything. Boomer monkey, don't think it does anything. Bomb shooter makes it shoot like a little bomb sort of thing. If you press a wizard, it makes it shoot a little bolt of lightning. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else that like, actually contributes to that. Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait. I can get plasma. Blo 
that's my blast. 19,000 for Sun God. So, for Sun God, it is said that balloons dare not touch the sun. Meaning, meaningless, to what it is. It's just. Sun God is better than the Robo Monkey, trust me. But Robo Monkey is half Super Monkey, half Killer Robot of Death. It makes you think that the Robo Monkey is better, but it is really not. If you get Sandbox Mode, get um, a Robo Monkey and then send in BFB and then get a Sun God and send in the B BF kills BFB faster. And that includes all the mobs and ceramics and other mobs inside. Uh, six grand. Um, kind of deciding just what to do now. I think I might place down another one. I'll get the range. Just waiting now, guys. Uh, I think my next video will be the, um, I've currently got a video of Smash Road, about 10,000 bucks spending spree, but I've just got to edit it, because my sister came in halfway through and destroyed it. So I kind of have to sort that out first, to pick up her mess, metaphorically speaking. So, um, I don't know what my next video is going to be, it's probably... It's either going to be the Binding of Isaac download, if I don't do that before I upload this one. Or it might be... It might be the Clash Royale. She was, no, no, no. I think my next video will be the BTD Monkey City. Because I literally just, I've literally got to level 27 XP level. And I'm actually quite good, so I've got... Like, I'm um, research Sun God and Pokemon Monkey for I'm assuming in that, in that game though, it is... The only thing I use in that is... Oh, come on, give me... It's glass. I only use Dark, dark Guns in that. I don't know why, I just think... I think Dark Guns are the best. The thing is though, for... For bosses like Vortex... Or Blunerus, the Infiltrator... If I place down nothing but dark, dark, uh, dark ninja monkeys, then it can shoot all across the map, and it just destroys it. The only thing you can't pop is the one where you have to have something lead to pop it. I have to have like dark ninja monkey, but with depleted plutonium. So I think about just place, placing down some bomb towers and mob, mob, mola, target the mob, and then I place down a wizard. You see here, like, this device is coming laggy now. I mean, imagine this on mushroom mode. But these wouldn't be green ceramics. These would be ceramics and mobs. Just gotta wait now. Uh, I'm going to sell this dark monkey, uh, a super monkey, and I'm going to get Sun God. So let's see how many balloons have popped already. 11,000 balloons. Let's go back to the first, 49,000 balloons actually, for the first boomerang throw that I placed. And about just over 50,000. Jesus. But until that one catches up, though, let's be honest. Uh, Mr. Temple of the Monkey God, Tower sacrifices, enhance, and modifies the temple's awesome arsenal. It doesn't do it by much, so I wouldn't get it unless you want to. Unless you want to feel overpowered, but you're not. Or you want to make it so that like, you're powerful, but the game doesn't isn't as lucky for your towers. Because I need to boomerang throwers, all these guy ads here and stuff. They like the game out because there's so many of them just going around. That's what likes it. This is the last mission before Impopable. Let's 
see how my sun goes doing. 30,000 blues now. 31. This thing is literally wrecking the balloons. I mean, they, the mobs and BFBs are getting slightly further. But they ain't gonna make it to nowhere near, like, here. Like, literally. Like, you know... Where am I? Where? Near where I place this, this one. Literally just the left where the wall bit is. I'm gonna press that. And pop ball. I'm playing a pop ball. Round 95. These is the... This is the last round here. Where on hard and pop uh, on hard, if you get to round eighty five, they send in ones at OMG. I'm just wasting my money now. But I don't care. Based on a lot of roads, bikes, just cars. Now all I'm left with is a crap ton of BFBs. I think I've got one ZMG balloon left, but it's on very low health. Two zones, you'll see two engines, but both are very on very low health actually. I don't think they've reached my spikes yet. Have they reached my spikes? Okay, no, they have. They literally just reached my spikes. They escape them though with one BFB and regular health. Nope, scratch that. Four mobs. Nope, annihilated. What are you can do about it. But yeah, that's improbable. This is on normal mode, not on mastery mode. Well, thank you guys for watching. That's how to do improbable on normal mode, not mastery mode. We're not using any bucks or special agents. Just time, really. And guys, well, if you like this, please press like and please subscribe for more gaming videos. And I'll be coming up with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.